Welcome back to Pops and Pilots. Let's play some more House of Iron 4. We're playing as the Global Defense Council. Or, you know, Anarchist Aragon. As, well, that's what we used to be. We did become a bit bigger now. We ate the French. Uh, we want to eat the Brits and the US. But these guys are... They have boats. Boats are cheat. That's mean. There's nothing we can do. Not yet. Not yet. But we're working on it. Um... We're doing not that shabby in the war. Uh, we lost a total of 478,000 troops in the whole war, including the fight for France. Uh, is that right? Where's, oh, it must be on the other side, obviously. Duh. Yeah. Nation Francaise. Um, they have expired. Um, the United States have already lost a million, a million units here, or people. UK, not that much. I mean, the US, uh, US keep throwing people at us with naval invasions, and then they all die, and it's funny. Um, so that's kind of cool. Also, we're fighting our way through Africa, and um, it turns out that there's a lot of US troops here, and they, well, they're losing. Not every battle. There are battles like these where my units try to, or my people try to attack, and I don't hit pause, and everything is bad, and I screw things up. It's fun. Uh, we also have an invasion of Norway going right. Forgot about that one, um, which is obviously going really well. Um, our guys are essentially just marching through here. A little bit of defense from the Brits, but nothing. Nothing on any level. That's why is the whole thing so? What's going on here? Why is my my PC is so laggy. Well, I'm sorry for that sound. You probably heard that. Uh, I think that was Steam. Hmm. Weird. Let's try to continue here. I have no internet at the moment. You know, I can't. Come on, Hearts of Iron. It's not that hard. You don't want to tap out of Hearts of Iron. I thought there was a thing that's... <laughs> that was a thing of the past. But recently I've been having issues tabbing out of Hearts of Iron. And that's just stupid. Um, if we're pushing here, we should put all our might into it. So let's port from here. From, can we do it from here? No. Just get in there, get it done. Get it done quick. Uh, really low supplies. Oh, that must be... Okay. Why is our supply situation so bad up here? Uh... Incoming five. Wait, we only get stuff from the... Oh, is it still a thing with the Danish belt here? Yeah, it is, right? Am I not getting any supply through here? I'm not. It's the con most confusing thing of all. So we have this Danish belt thing, which we are not allowed to pass through. At least we know that now. Which probably means that we can't ever get this naval invasion going. Which is bad. But... Why I can't send any supply up here? I don't understand. Do I have like a block on the sea region here? No, this is allowed, this is allowed. This is all allowed. There should be a supply line here. It just isn't. I mean, there's a port here and a port here. We should totally be able to supply through there. But the game is like, nah. Incoming 0, 0.00. That's really bad. I don't know how to fix it. Why is this the case? Why can't you not supply through here? Can I like, click the naval base and give it like supply through here? No, it's nothing I can set. Not on this map mode either, right? It's not a button on this. Dude, like our flag. It's a nice flag. No. Hmm. So I'm sure it's because of the Danish belts. It's trying to reinforce through here. It was probably fine before we owned Ostlandet here and Oslo, but now that we do. The game is like, well, let's set the supply through there, except we can't. What happens if I forbid this place? Oh, look. 
and suddenly, uh, if you go to supply map mode, everything's groovy. That was dumb. Okay, but if we can't have any submarines pass into here, which to me is really weird, I must admit, I don't know why submarines wouldn't be able to pass here. We can't do this naval landing. The thing is, I could of course land over here in one of these places, but the Danes might just have uh, people stopping us from then moving to a port from there, which would then mean we can't supply our troops because we need a port to supply our troops. And that would be our end. Yeah, this is a problem. Now, I don't really know, but I don't think we can supply through Germany. Mm -hmm. And this, I don't think is going to work. No. General falls ill. Eh, things happen. I mean, he's in Africa. What was he expecting? Can we check this? Is that a thing we can do? This doesn't work. So hold here. I think I'm holding this too. Unless you can support from there, is that a thing? It is. But it's not enough. Stop it. Leopold will still too well defend it. Sink some more transport, that's nice at least. And now there's a US fleet around here again. So I'm expecting incoming, but we have a decent amount of coastal defense. I think we're fine on that in that regard. I'd really like that coring to finish so we can have some more, some more manpower. That would be sweet. Um, should I be cutting these guys off? I really should. Let's get that. I mean, I'm already cutting them off in the north, I guess. But hey, can't cut off people enough. Really? There's actually 150 enemy bombers here. Uh, I assume my guys are just on superiority. Let's put them in deception too. Let's not get bombed. Um, I don't know if they're actually trying to bomb or if that's just close air support. No, that would be support planes. These are actual bombers. All right. Bit of AUS Navy down there. I am, first of all, let's grab another six submarines. Add another raiding force. And have you be templated to be six submarines? Did I just put a destroy in there? Did not mean to. Whoops, you can join there. And my destroy production line. Did I not? Research the 1940 destroyer yet? I feel like I did. I did. And we don't have all the cool things we can put on destroyers, but it still seems reasonable to switch to the production once the next one is done. If you go into Spanish Theater 1, which is my main fleet, I would call it something like the Fleet of Doom or something, but it's really not that. <laughs> Our fleet is not very powerful. We could try to get supremacy here from planes. No, but planes only help. They don't actually give you supremacy, they just multiply. So I don't think I can get superiority there unless the um, other guys have it. Supremacy. <laughs> Keep switching between saying superiority and supremacy. Um, I think I always use the wrong one. Then I think I fixed it and still use the wrong one. Um, decisions. Can I core something? Just the Canaris, which is not, not nuts. No, we need way more PP. Oh, we're losing one a day from integrating Ethiopia. Okay, fine. Is this the thing I want? Is this something I want to do? Doesn't feel like it at all. Uh, let's have you hold and you hold. 
And this is still kind of going, I guess. Low supplies. No more. Pocket. Nice. Let's get rid of them all. You can start doing this sort of fun. You guys can take this out. And you already have a job to go north. Nice. So that's all fine. But I don't know how I get this naval invasion going. This whole thing is really weird. Unassigned divisions. Actual military units. Cray. Add them to my coastal defense slash uh, <laughs> future invasion force. Uh, submarine rating stuff. It's 43. Have we done all industry dues? We have. Um, there's no more research stuff to do. There is better guns, though. Night attack is really good. Heart attack is also really good. Get it. Get it done. No, 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 no. Listen. Listen. That's not the way we work here. Plan is for you to die and for me to win. And that's all you get to do. I mean, die. The fact that the Germans are not able to push in here is... I mean, cool on the one hand because it would allow us to take the land, but on the other hand, um, we have no way of getting in there. Still a big US presence. Can I? How am I doing on close air support? Not close air support. Naval bombers. I have a decent amount. I should go here. Wait, I have Cas there. You're also Cas? Why are you Cas? Listen, Cas. Hold your stuffs. Get over there. Join with the other cars. I thought I had naval bombers over here, and I do. But you can be like I don't know, 200. Let's put way more birds in the sky. Uh, see if we can maybe hurt the those US fleets a bit. Because if we get critical mass of naval bombers there, then that's just a win. If I were to land like here, and then try to get a quick march to Aarhus, it's super risky. Did we steal any transport planes from anybody? No. If we had transport planes, we could just naval, naval drop, airdrop on this. But yeah. So unless the German Navy gets a superiority, and I don't know if they can if we're not on the same side, um, I don't see how we get over there. I have no way of getting boats into the Baltic here, and I'm pretty sure planes won't be enough. I mean, once we've cleared out this pocket, I'm just going to try to send a plane, a bunch of planes over there. But I'm pretty sure that they just act as multipliers. And that that means we don't get anything. Okay, we don't need you over here anymore, so... Wait, are you moving? No. Uh, you guys get over the Danish belts. Which gives us all the air superiority. But I don't think it has any effect on this. Air supremacy is zero. Yeah, look at that impact modifier. Plus 100%. So we would have double supremacy if only we had a boat. And I wouldn't know how. Unless I can build a boat in Oslo. Can I? I know I can add them to specific fleets. But if I were to take the next submarine, which is going to be built on the 5th of May, which is kind of soon, and put it into Oslo. <laughs> no. It's not just my core land. Why is it this list? I can't do Christian Sund. Should I get... No, I don't get it. <laughs> I lied. 
I don't know how the deploy ports are chosen here. Ones that are... Because Equitain is not my core. Hmm. I just want a single boat in the danger belts. That's all I need. Now if the Germans were to take control of this, then we might be able to pass through there. But obviously I still don't want the Germans to actually succeed. Okay, do we have to do a naval invasion into here and try to march on Aarhus? I'm gonna give it a go. This is risky business, guys. Um, I'm gonna say don't try this at home. As stupid as that sounds. We've seen what happens to people who do this. <laughs> it's really bad. Um, now it's not quite as hopeless as it used to be. Um, because air supplies this thing since, I think since men the guns. I think when, that's when they introduced it. So even if we don't have any actual um, supply route, we might be able to use our planes to send some supplies. And we don't have any transport planes, but I think fighters can do it too. At least I've seen my guys being on very inefficient uh, naval supply routes. So they must somehow be able to. I do still dig sinking all these convoys. Mexico has a civil war, which is just about puff of the course for Mexico. It's essentially all they do. These guys are so defensive. And my general keeps on trying to push it and failing. Why don't you rather push? Oh, you're already doing it. Good. This push is still going on. That's all groovy. Losing a bunch of bombers. United Mexican States. Second Mexican Revolution. I tell you, this is what they do. Uh, revolutions are their business. The fact that all my divisions are deploying means that I'm actually building some supply equipment. Honestly, with all the factories I have on it, support equipment, I mean, uh, that's... <laughs> I think that should really happen, but still, still glad to see it actually happen. Now, how long on that preparation? A long time. We're done mopping this up, so... I'm gonna take you guys, I'm gonna give you a front line and a job. Just get all the way to Finland or something. And hit go. You, please clear this out very quickly. You are pushing your way north. And I'm certain I don't need all of these guys over there. Let me just grab, like most of you, give you a different order, which is just going to be fallback line over here, and get on it. If you could succeed in this attack, Germany, then I would be unhappy that my naval invasion is no longer... <laughs> I could have just done the normal naval invasion, but it would still be probably good for me. Keep on losing bombers. Maybe I shouldn't be having those bombers there. I haven't seen any uh, submarines for a while, and that's why I, the reason, real reason I had my bombers there was all those enemy submarines. Yes, 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 yes. Something happened with the new war for reasons, and things just went... Wait, Mexico? Oh, just because they're not in a faction. They're listed here. Hearts of Iron Wars are really weird. Um, most of the time, they keep... Uh, Yes, yes, yes. Um, they keep people on the right side of the war, at least. <laughs> and hey, that's... Germany is actually... Oh yeah, they're pushing back really well into the Russians. Hmm. Another reason to somehow want to declare war on the Germans sooner rather than later. Because they might become too powerful afterwards. More powerful than I could ever imagine. Um, am I going to need more infantry equipment? I'm still doing quite okay there. Actually, motorized, lacking in that. We probably only have like one factory on it or something, right? 
tends to be what I do. Now it's three factories. Let's put it to five factories for now. Are we still constructing a bunch of stuff? We are. Tons of raiders. Raiders? Radars. Yeah, said there are no subs. What was a sub? Radar. You keep on doing that. Africa. I mean, we're getting there somehow. Talking, sure, Mexico. Come on in. It's a free country. Where is, I mean, it's literally a free country. We're anarchists. We don't tell you anything. Um, you get in that army. Almost done. You, how's that timer looking? Yeah, still another 16 days. Free dockyards. Oh, that's because my uh, destroyer got done, and I want. I'm just going to build. Now, let's have a quick look at the variants. What can I do here? Fire control system, anti air module, torpedoes, engine. Radar is good at surface detection, but I don't super care about that. Sonar would be interesting. Do I saw some more? We don't really need the anti-sub warfare on destroyers, do we? They are really screen ships. So, no. Could run torpedoes. Or something like guns. I'm going to leave this as it is for now. Well, let's see what auto does. That just goes full on. No. I'm going to leave these as they are. Keep them kind of cheap. Just have the numbers. And then... Um, when I have all the uh, research and stuff, I'm going to try and put a real focus on building good destroyers. Good-ish destroyers. Destroyers are never going to be like your main punching force or anything, but having decent ones can be very nice. You know what else could be nice? Being done in Africa. I would dig that. So, naval invasion. 15 or 28 days. You can do it. Sunk some transports. Did you take the straight yet? You did not. Or the belt or whatever this is. I wonder if I should be setting up. I should. I really should. Let's grab another four guys. Keep turned back on this naval invasion. Enter sign. There you go. With the idea that if the Germans take the belt and we get access over here, then I want to go and um, have that invasion launch instead of the other one. Or maybe in support of the other one. Nice. Two subs sunk. I mean, two subs are not a lot. But if we keep sinking their stuff, then at some point they're going to be drained of all they have, and then I'm glad. Are we still eating up Ethiopia? Yeah. Yes, we are. Communist China. Sure. China. Transports. Submarines. Yeah. I'm glad I have those guys there to stop the submarines. Not because killing the submarines is super important, but because not having my navy raided is great. I'm going to put you on launch. I'm going to look for what's happening here. And hopefully... Uh, yeah, we want the anti-tank. Be able to either rush our way to the port over here or here or to build a port of our own we're gonna try all those things and i just hope that one of them is gonna go through do you just see them go i think so right yeah here they come meeting some brits on the water for reasons i mean sure just get that landing going Done. All right. Jobs. One of you. Straight for that port. One of you. Straight for Arbus and that port there. The rest hold where you are. Poland is dead. 
and I'm going to take my construction guys and tell them to build a, no, a level one port here and put that on top of our line. I'm going to cancel it if all this works out as I wanted to. But um, just for the case that it doesn't, I want to be, be able. Yeah, this is toast. Yeah, and Russia is really not doing well. Mm -hmm. This is great though. <laughs> Keep on. Unfortunately, not a lot of these transports are British or American, but just of random other people. So I assume they're still sitting on decent amounts of, yeah. The number keeps going down slightly though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are, <laughs> I mean, to say we're getting places might be a bit ambitious, but there's something happening. Okay, there's a guy in Aarhus, which kind of means that I, well, we already have support coming in. That's good. Right now we're winning this battle. Ah, we pushed him out. Excellent, 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 excellent. Also my birds. My birds, I want you to be over here. Try to give me control of this. And you can do it from... Ah, is that clever? Probably not. Because there might be supply issues. But if you take Aarhus... Um, actually, that might not do it for us just yet. Because yes, it will give us a port, but I don't know if it actually allows us to cross any of the belts. Can you not push out that Danish guy? Um, how's it looking? Do I have access here? No. No. I don't know what I need to control to have this. Does it tell me? No. If it was contested? Why is it not contested? What? I own half of the side. How is it not contested? Huh. Then my submarines could pass if it was contested. Um, oh, free milfax. I really don't want to put more on support equipment. That has to be enough. It just has to be. Attempt to go for more naval bombers. Sure. Uh, it's gonna mean we need rubber. I have an idea how we get more rubber. Um, and having zoomed to Africa, we can have a look at that. Because down here, there's Liberia. I think that's Liberia, Liberia right? Yeah. And they have 11 rubber. Now, if we take the land, we don't get to keep all of it, but I mean, 11 rubber, that's that's a number. I want it. Okay, this is not a giant US Navy. Wait, a single cruiser killed seven of my bombers? I don't believe it. <laughs> Must have been just unlucky starting or something. That's just not, not a believable number. Okay, we did take that. So if we could now push into that other port. I don't know if that's going to help with the with the belt control. But maybe. I'm just going to try to take this place. And these Danes should... No, nah, they're in okay position. They still have connection to their mainland. But they did lose the control here. What does that mean for me? Trade can pass. Submarines cannot pass. Because it's neutral. Still having a rough time there. Um, but trade passing is very good. So that probably means that I can have my supply come in here. Doesn't it? No, it doesn't because I've forbidden this zone. If I go cautious, this goes green. Excellent. The uh, reason I did cautious is that I'd of course rather not have my supply pass that through there. But doing it is better than not doing it. So what would I need to do to take Liberia? Probably just need to get like a couple of guys there and that's it. Yeah, Denmark joining the Mexican-Bulgarian war. Hearts of Iron, your wars are the weirdest. Um, no, everybody be in this front, please. Oh, that's Germany there. Hello. I guess our stuff did push things a bit. That's unfortunate. 
Unless we get to take this place, which seems unlikely. We will not get the straight crossing here. If I had seen the Germans coming earlier, then maybe. Here comes another naval invasion. And part of your attack is on the breast. I will bring you breast. Um, this is fine. A naval bombing there. Now, a naval invasion is rarely alone in this day and age. So we might have to consider more of those guys coming in. Yeah, we lost this to Germany. Um, so we're probably still not going to get con any control of the strait. As odd as that is, not even contested. Three dockyards. Excellent. Maybe we took some from the Danes here. Uh, what are we building? Probably for now, it's... Is it more destroyers? I think so. I want to get my... My screen set up in such a way that at least we can defend our capital ships. Before we build more capital ships, which we might do at some point, uh, we really want our screens to be ready. Hello. You're landing in The Hague, aren't you? And I don't have anybody there. Well, fudge. Um, because I send everybody north. Um, you two and you four. Kill your orders. Grab you. Get you over here. Oh, I have to put you on a port first, right? Strategically redeploy to a port and then swim right here. Now, do I need to keep these guys in Denmark? Probably not. Seems unlikely that there will be a naval landing in Denmark. What with their focus being on me rather than um, stuff I've conquered. I mean, they could do it and it would be, would be a clever move, but I don't think they will. And when I'm happy with the size of my guard forces, I might even add some guard over there. I mean, they did attack over here, which is not... Oh, yeah, you're still landing on the Hague. I have a guy coming in there, but I probably won't be in time. Nope. Can you try to push them out of the Hague immediately, please? They have supply there. It's not acceptable. This is looking goodish. Sinking some Yugoslavian transports. Yugoslavian? Sure. And then you guys are gonna swim over there. Fine. Do I want you guys over home as well? Probably. Is Denmark all done? No. Why are you guys leaving? Z. Control click. Uh, X. Get all the way over there, please. And get moving. And they actually got another landing down here. I think that that was an important place, but they did get it. Keep supporting this. You're coming in from there to help support that. This has been defended against for now. Stuff is being sunk. Planes are dying. All... Ah, I think Ethiopia is done. We suddenly have manpower again. Nice. Um, anything cool we can do? No, not there. We don't have the 150 that's needed for more of this stuff. Well, some of these only need 50. Why is it 50 or 150? Wait, what? Okay. So they have the same effect. It's just that one is cheaper. It doesn't require... Oh, a neighboring core, I see. So because I now have the core in Ethiopia, I can core the neighboring things for much cheaper. That is good. So we should check on Khartoum. 2.2 million people, two factories, not horrible, no resources. Eritrea, two factories, not a lot of people, no resources, no people really. And then the south. Uh, 1.14 million, no resources. 
4 million, 2 factories, and no resources. This seems like a good place. Kenya. Now, if I were to go here and then say do this, he would just do it. Cool. Um, just keep adding those that manpower pool for now. It's going to be one of the most relevant resources. Not the only one. I'll try to... Oh, you can't. Okay. Get over there. People are coming in to help. Help is coming. A bit like winter that way. Uh, all y'all... Oh, did you lose your... Let me see. I think I gave them a front line at some point, and that's why they lost the area defense order. Which I still want them to have. You are my southern coast guard, mostly. Sure. Do this. Keep Iberia safe. Giant US fleet around. I don't think my submarines are good enough to try to sink them. If they were... I wouldn't be sad. So you guys are here now. Get in here. Get in here. And then get me... The Hague. And then that place. Whatever that is. But we keep losing those bombers, and I don't know that it's worth it. But unlike our fleet, bombers are something we can relatively easily replace. And therefore it might just be might just be alright to do it this way. Africa is slowly, slowly getting ground down. Uh, we did actually take Leopold well here. Nice. After all this time. Um, how's our airplane situation down there? I haven't checked on that in a million years. Yeah. We're not fighting in West Africa anymore. Do we have an airport over here? Does not look like we do. Really nothing? Wow. So I would put birds over there, but I just can't. <laughs> and no, I don't want to build a airport. An airport. Speaking of, eh, not... I might as well build the... The port in Jutland. Um, at least that's going to allow me to remove my troops here without access to the Danish belts. Get that cleared. You guys help out with this. And we're good again. Also, we're at the end of another episode, way over again. And what have we done? I mean, I guess we took some stuff in Africa. We did take Denmark. Sure. We even took a tiny part of Jutland over here. Uh, is there anything in here? Oh, there's a ton of factories in here. And I don't know that we get all of these, but we, I'm sure we get some. Okay. No, I'm not complaining anymore. This is fine. We did stuff. But cuts are cuts. We have to put them in here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like what you're seeing. As always, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet, because that's just what you should be doing. And if you have anything to say, then always, 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 always just talk to me in that comment section. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.